Okay, in this video we're going to talk about something called the similarity theorems for triangles. Okay, and um, in this video I'd like to go over what's the difference between what's congruent, but between being congruent and being similar. Okay, again, especially when it relates to triangles. And by doing so, I'll be able to give you what the definition of similarity is. Okay, and then we'll talk about the three theorems, which are angle, angle, side, 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 and side, angle, side, which sounds familiar, I'm sure, to those who remember the congruency theorems. Okay, so let's get started. Well, as you can see here, I have uh, some words written in red. Being congruent basically means that you have a triangle that's not only the same shape, but it's the same dimensions, okay? So the lengths of the sides would be equal, okay? And remember, you, you would indicate that by putting a slash, one slash mark here, one slash mark there, maybe two here, and then find the corresponding side and put two there, that sort of thing. So congruency is just another way of saying equal, equal measures, equal lengths. And the symbol for congruency is this little squiggle with an equal sign underneath, okay? So what's similarity? Well, similarity is being proportional, not being equal. So I would still have the same shape for the triangles, but one might be a lot smaller than the other, uh, the other uh, triangle, okay? And if I were to get from the small one to the large one by, let's say, pumping it up full of air and it kind of inflates equally, it would look like the larger triangle. Or in the same way, if I just had the larger one and just took the air out proportionally, you would have the smaller triangle. And you do that, you make it larger or smaller by multiplying by a number called a scale factor, okay? If you want to make a larger thing smaller, you multiply it by a fraction, less than one. If you want to make a smaller uh, triangle or object larger, you would multiply it by an integer greater than one. Okay? That's what's called scale factor. The symbol for similarity is simply this little squiggle. Okay? So, let's go through the three theorems, angle, angle, side, 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 and side, angle, side, and I'll show you what they look like here. Okay? So let's look at this first one. It looks like these, we know that these are basically the same shape, all right? It looks like they're the same dimensions or same proportions, rather, not dimensions. Now, the angle-angle theorem says this. If one angle in a triangle is the same as another angle, and again, you can, you can say that by just putting one slash mark in each, and a second angle is also the same as, the, as another angle in that same other triangle, then the third angle has to be the same as well, okay? And if that's true, then whatever proportion, let's say this is a four, let's say this is a six, and you were to find the corresponding sides here, you can find the missing side in the smaller or the other triangle simply by writing the correct proportions in the same way. Now, for example, in this first one, I could say this side, 4, is to this side, 6, corresponding now, okay? So 4 is to 6 as 2, because this corresponds to the 4, is to the x, okay? So if 4 is to 6, is 2 is to x, that means that they're proportional. I can simply cross multiply or do the cross products rule, okay? And I would get 4x is equal to 12, or x is equal to 12 divided by 4, which is just 3. That means that this side, x is equal to 3. I'm able to figure out that missing side, right, by using the proportionality between the two similar triangles. Okay, and again, I, I, can, I know that these triangles are similar because two of the angles are exactly the same. Okay, now let's, that's the AA theorem. Let's go to the SSS theorem. Now again, what does that mean? Side, side, side basically means this, that if all three sides are proportional 
to all three sides of a, another triangle, then you should be able to find the missing angles. Okay, so for example, if I know that this side is, let's say this is four, this is the corresponding side here, let's say it's two, and if I know that this side is, let's say, five, I know that this side would actually be what? Uh, 2.5, right? And then the same thing with this side here. If this side were, uh, let's make this side uh, 10, this side would be what? 5. Then these two triangles are proportional, or they would be similar, okay? and I would be able to find what the missing angles are by doing that. And that's the side, side, side similarity theorem. Okay. Let's go to the last one, which is side, angle, side. And again, you have to have the same shape, right? So we've got that. If one angle is similar to the other angle, corresponding angle, remember corresponding means it has to be in the same place in the triangle, and one side is similar to the other side, actually that means equal, so I actually screwed that up a little bit, let me just get rid of that, there we go, let me get rid of that, let's say make this side 10, this side is 5, and this side would, let's make it 4, even though it's not clearly, and this side would be 2, then I can find the missing sides simply by using the proportionality uh, similarity uh, theorem, right? Side, angle, side. And actually, let's do it this way. Okay. Let's find this, and let's say we know this other side over here. Uh, nope, nope, nope. I did it right the first time. Let's try it one more time. There we go. Let's make that four again. And let's say I know that this side is 12, and I want to find what this side is. Okay. I know that these two triangles are similar because side, the included angle in the middle, and then the next side, so side, angle, side, tells me that these are proportional. I know that because I can see the ratios are the same. And I want to find this one. So basically I could say something like, let's just find a relationship. 5 is to 10. as x is to 12. Again, corresponding sides. Let's go ahead and do cross products. I get that 60. 10 times x is 10x. Divide by 10. And I get 6 is equal to x. And I just discovered that this side is actually 6. Okay? So similarity theorems really are helpful when you want to find the uh, missing sides between similar or proportional uh, objects, whether they're triangles or any other polygon for that matter. Okay, I hope that was helpful.